guys, I hope you guys have been doing well. Today I wanted to do a get ready with me. I haven't worn a lot of makeup recently um, and I also haven't done a red lip. So I decided I was going to do just kind of like a nice holiday red lip. I was inspired by a couple pictures that I found on Pinterest and in Instagram. I'll show you guys here. Very pretty, just very like neutral and like the whole point is on the lip. So hopefully it'll come out just as well as those pictures did. Um, so yeah, if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what your holiday look is. And also make sure to press the bell so you can get notified every single time I get a video. And let's just keep going. Bum 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 I'm gonna bring it all back. I'm really excited because I have all these lip colors to choose from and I barely ever dive into this section or like this section so this is really exciting for me. Even though it is super late at night, I'm still gonna use primer because I need it. This is the Unseen Sunscreen Primer by Supergoop. It is actually like the first big snowfall in New York. So that's pretty exciting. Actually, it's supposed to snow a foot to 18 inches, which is a lot, like a foot to a foot and a half. I feel like last year it didn't snow that much. So I hope it snows a lot more this year, especially because since we're all inside because of COVID, I feel like we can enjoy looking at it more. Like I feel like everyone likes looking at snowfall. We just don't like walking in it and having to deal with like the subway with it. That's like the worst. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'm in the color 117. I think this is marble, but I may have to look again. It might, I'm pretty sure it's marble. And I used to use this foundation all the time when I had to go to work and just do my makeup real fast. I never thought I'd be a stick foundation person, but it's so fast. I haven't used this brush in so long because this is actually the Artiste brush, but then it broke off. So then I just wasn't really motivated to use it, but it does blend out like the foundation so well and super fast. I feel like I could just use it like this. Maybe I should just like cut off this part and it'll be like the pebble version, I think. It's a little bit harder to grab, but my only problem is this is so hard to clean. Like I just cannot find an easy way to clean this. And like, I heard you're supposed to be careful with how you clean it, but whatever. Let's just do a super light set. I don't wanna do anything like too crazy. This is just like the MAC foundation I always use, but you know, I just wanna do like a really quick, you know what, instead I should use this. I, because I've been using this all summer, um, not only like this past summer, but like the summer before, I think. I think I've been using it for like, for like a year, I'd say. Yeah, but um, it's just so helpful. And now I never use loose powder because this is just a quick powder foundation. I'm really grateful for that. Like my skin just like cleared up a lot and it has allowed me to like use less heavy makeup, which is crazy because I never thought I'd ever leave the Marc Jacobs um, remarkable foundation because that was my ride or die and now I'm back on the market looking for a good foundation So if you have a good foundation recommendation, that's probably like medium coverage because I don't think I'd ever go to light coverage I'm just like not a light coverage girl. I feel like uh, Yeah, I maybe light medium um, But a solid like medium coverage um, If you have a recommendation, please let me know. Okay, let's go to browse I'm still using this Still don't love it. It's just you need to get rid of it and it's too wasteful to just like toss out since I'm not really like going anywhere. I have been looking into getting a lot of new products. Um, I feel like I've been really set in my ways and I don't know, this year I really wanna, well I guess this year's over. Next year I wanna start doing some new things and like 
uh, using new products. For example, um, I follow this girl on TikTok. I don't know her name, but she like does reviews on really nice perfumes or just like all perfumes in general. And like, I love the Glossier U. That's like my signature scent. And I think I like, I've been using it for two years now, going on to three, cause I started using it my senior year. Cause that's when they first launched. I think I, that was like my first vlog that I made. Um, like, not like my first, but like one of my earlier vlogs. Actually, it might have been my first, um, but it was, I went to their showroom, which honestly was amazing. I could go back and re-experience it again because it was so fun. But I feel like I want to try something new. The only problem is like, it took me a really long time to pick the Glossier U because I just have such a bad sense of smell that I couldn't even really smell. I still don't know what the Glossier U smells like. I was using the Marc Jacobs Daisy in Bloom and I could just barely smell like the citrusiness of it, like the super sweet citrus. Um, so I had gotten a bunch of samples, I think one week, and I asked all my friends like, ooh, what do you think about this smell? What do you think, what do you think about this smell? And at the end of the day, everyone really liked the glossy AU and that's literally how I chose. So if I choose a different scent, I'm gonna just have to get like samples and then have, I don't know, I guess I'll have to ask Eric or something. I also saw some girl, I think this was on YouTube, and she was saying like, I don't know why everyone's buying brow gel when you could literally just use hair gel and it's way stronger. And I was like, that is genius. I literally live by the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel because it's like the only one that can really tame my eyebrows. But I'm sure that like an actual hair gel could probably do better. Um, but I just like don't know which one to look for because I'm not looking for anything like like I don't want a shininess, but I feel like um What are they called wax? I think it's like wax and there's another name for it wax and it Slipped my mind completely, but like I feel like wax is not gonna be strong enough um so I feel like I can't use wax, but then gel tends to be like really shiny. And I'm just like not, I tried to look it up like to see if online could help me, but I couldn't really find anything that I felt like was gonna work. I changed my toner like three times and then I finally went back to the ordinary because I feel like Honestly, it was the most affordable out of all the ones that I've tried. I recently was trying the Versed one. I feel like it didn't really do that much. Um, and so the Ordinary is the most affordable for like what it does, I feel like. Um, the reviews are great. I feel, I don't think like it's like revolutionary, but I definitely like it more than regular Thayer's Witch Hazel. I don't like Thayer's Witch Hazel. It's like way too light for me. I'm gonna just do like a super neutral look. Super neutral. We're, we're gonna try to go very simple. I've been realizing that I have this really bad habit where I just like flick it around everywhere in the end and it just looks so messy. And I don't know why I ever did that, but I'm trying to be more mindful of how far I push it back. It's funny because after this, I think I'm gonna cut my bangs. My bangs grew out like a lot. And so I've been meaning to kind of cut them for a while, but I also was kind of like iffy about it. But I just feel like my hair, it always looks so flat. Ooh, I don't know what that did, but that did not do anything good. Like almost brought too much like cold tone in it. I wanna get it warmer, not colder. I also need to get in the habit cleaning my brushes. Okay. I feel like if I keep going, I'm only gonna just keep going. But we're gonna keep this very simple. Speaking of other things I wanna do, this is gonna be like a 2021 New Year's resolution, I feel like. Or like a list of things I need to, it's like a to-do list for 2021. I also want to get more piercings. Like I only have two right here, and then I have two right here. 
and I really want to get a conch can't I don't know which one I'd get it on I feel like maybe getting it here would look good because it'd be like one two three and then I want to get what is this this is a rook this is your conch this is your starts with the C I feel like I can't I can't remember the name. Where is my brain today? But I want to do this inside one. Imagine like one, two, three, and then maybe like four? That would look cute on this year. And then like one, two, three. Maybe we need to get a double one right here. That could be cute. But I definitely want to get more piercings. I feel like I'm not getting any younger and I want more. And if I don't get them now, I'm gonna not get them when like later so might as well and like these are all piercing like i feel like all the piercings i want to get are like the type of piercings that you just like don't you don't ever change the jewelry like once you find the jewelry that you want you just keep it on also i want to get more tattoos um i actually don't know my parents know how many tattoos i have i'm like kind of nervous because Sometimes my mom likes to check out all my videos, so if she's here, then just kidding. I don't want any more tattoos. <laughs> um, but I do. I do want tattoos. Uh, I just don't know what I want. Besides two of my tattoos, all my tattoos are pretty like... It's, I don't want to say they're meaningless. I feel like that sounds not so great. But um, they were just like... They were just like out of like spontaneity. Um, so my tattoo collection has just slowly become, I don't know, an array of just designs that I like. Um, and I don't think it'll be things that I'll regret later, hopefully. <laughs> Actually the tattoo that I have here, um, I it's not that I want to cover it up per se. I feel like it, now when I look back at it, it doesn't look the way that I want it to. Um, so I would be interested in like adding to it. It's like um, a little, a very, it's like this big, um, a cotton branch, I guess. But I kind of want to get maybe more floral, like kind of like other dried flowers that I really like, like eucalyptus, baby's breath, um, just to add to it because it just looks a little lonely and like random. And since it doesn't really have that much like meaning, like deep meaning for me, um, I would rather kind of like add on to it. I don't know, tattoos to me are just like a kind of like um a part of um it's like more like a memory to me or like um kind of like stamping a forever stamp <laughs> a forever stamp memory of a certain time because a lot of the ones that I got spontaneously there was like something going on in my personal life. Wow, that black eyeliner didn't come out that bad, right? Not bad. But yeah, I mean, if you guys want a video about my tattoos, it's just like I only have five though. Like, is that even worth a video? <laughs> you know what? I realized I did a red lip video like a couple years ago, like right around this time. I think it was like January when I made that video. Um, I hope this doesn't look just like that. <laughs> But I bet you it does. I'm not gonna stop right there. I, you know me, I just kind of want a little bit of sparkle right there. Just like the tiniest bit. Maybe I'll just I'll dip into, oh, palette-wise, you guys. I've been using the regular Naked palette and like this Etude House one that I used all summer during quarantine. But I'm gonna just add a little something. Like, that's not that much, right? That's like so little. You guys know, I always do, I always do my lash prep with the Etude House Doctor Mascara Fixer. Um, so we're gonna get right to that. I feel like because everyone is home this holiday season, everyone's been really good about like decorating. And I actually sent back <laughs> my Christmas lights like a couple months ago. Um, back to Connecticut because I thought I didn't need them and I regret it because I wish I kept it and decorated the apartment a little bit more. The only thing I have is this Christmas tree and Eric actually bought me that Christmas tree last Christmas 
for one of like the advent calendar. He did, he was kind of doing advent calendar for me. Oh my God. I haven't done my makeup like this in a really long time. And I kind of really like it. Maybe I should do more <laughs> neutral matte makeup looks. Like I hate admitting that because I love a good sparkle, but this really, it didn't really take that long and it was so easy. Okay, lashes. Mm, it has been so long since I've used these lashes. Wow, I thought that was gonna be a natural look. <laughs> and then I put on these lashes and I swear these were like, they looked really natural. I mean, they are, I mean, they're not nearly as crazy as my other lashes. I think it's just cause they're really dense. Like when you look at it, it looks natural, right? And then when I have it on, it's my eyes. Gosh, I can't get over it. Like, this was supposed to be super natural. And I picked the most natural lashes that I, well, not the most, but almost most. Like this looked really, really natural. Should I switch them? Should I switch it? This is like not what I was going for. I'm considering, oh my God, I might switch it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, folks, uh, we are back again. We're switching it out. I can't, I can't. I was supposed to do something natural. I wanna stick by what I said. I'm gonna go with these. Super natural. Okay, let's use my pale white skin to show <laughs> those. <laughs> These are actually the Aritown dailies and I stacked two because one is too natural. One is like, ooh, it's like equal to like non-existent and I cannot, that's, that's too little for me. And I kind of like the way that my eyes look right now and I don't even have lashes on. So you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna go with these guys. I just think it stays more true to the pictures that I was showing in the beginning. So I'm gonna stand by it. I actually really like the Aritam lashes. It's the, the daily ones are the ones I first started wearing when I first started wearing lashes. Um, and I have, a, I have so many because of that. But out of the ones, there is one that's called dark brown. I don't know why it's called dark brown, except for the fact that it's dark brown, but they have other lashes that are dark brown. So I don't know why. I think it's, num I'm gonna just, off the top of my head, I feel like it's number four dark brown. I'm pretty sure, but I can't find them anywhere. Like I cannot find them online and I only have one pair left and they're like my favorite. It's like the perfect, natural lash like literally it just looks like i got like very subtle natural natural lash extensions so i can't get myself to use it but i feel like doubling the dailies kind of looks similar it just doesn't give you as much length as the other ones yeah yeah i swear to god if you guys say that it looks exactly the same i'm gonna be really mad <laughs> it's not the same okay I'm so happy we switched lashes. Let's do our under lashes in our corner and then let's finish this face up because we just want, I just, I just wanted to do a red lip. My favorite inner corner highlight. This is the Aritam Shine Fix Eyes Coconut Bay. The best one. Way back when I got this elf, it's like a little piece of Silicone and I just sometimes use it because My nails even though I want to use my finger my nail ends up like digging into it, which I don't want so this kind of helps Oh Yes Oh, even that much more kind of help Oh man, we are wrapping up Contour this is the LA girl It's a blush, but it's called just because and it's does not look like a blush. Oh, like look at that color. I know it looked so gray, but I'm so cool tone that I need to have that looks god awful, don't worry. I can't have like 
a warm bronzing color. It just does not work for me. Gotta, you know, cut all of this. You know, really, really figure it out because I need that help a little. Give me dimension. Oh, look at that. You see that? Oh, you know what? While we're here, nose contour. Ever so slightly. I'm not good at doing it slightly. And if I don't blend it out well enough, I'm sorry. couple options for blush. So originally I wanted to do this Marc Jacobs color. This is um, Flesh and Fantasy. It's just like a really nice neutral, you know? But I was like, is it too like peachy? So then I was considering going to this, which I know is a little bit wild. This is what? Ego and this is the Morphe blush palette. So I'm like, should I start with this? And if it's too peach, maybe do a little bit of ego. Are we are we okay with that? I think that might be the way to go. Try to keep it back there, you know. Highlight. We are going to use the Becca highlight in Opal. Opal's such a good one. It's such a good nude highlight. Like, love that. It's like not, it's so neutral, you know? It's not too warm, it's not too cold. We need to pick a red, okay? Because now we're at lip and this whole thing, I swear to God, I thought this was gonna only take like 10 minutes. We're like on like 50 right now. <laughs> um, we need to pick a red. I'm thinking this one. That looks really appealing to me. I would normally use a lip liner, but we're trying to go a little bit more fuzzy, you know? I'm gonna just go a little bit under my lip um, line just so I can like blend, whoop, blend it a little bit, you know? I'm kind of scared. Cause I'm trying to still go for that like hazy look. I don't want to do my lips justice, you know? I don't want to make my lips look small. <gasps> yeah, like you see that little like hazy effect right there? I definitely didn't want my lips to be like this bright. So I think I'm gonna go in with the next darker color. Oh, by the way, these are the three concept eyes. Um, mood recipe red, red mood recipe, I think. I'm gonna do this on the inner. Ooh, yeah, but you know, I kind of want it like even darker. Should I use this or should I use this? Thoughts. Maybe I'll try both. Maybe I'll layer both. Yeah, like this, you know, like a little bit more barrier. Do you guys see that? Mm. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh. This is it. This is it. You guys, I think this is the look. <gasps> I think we found it. This is exactly what I was imagining. I don't think I'm nearly as pretty as any of the other girls I showed up, but I'll take this. Thank you guys so much for chatting with me today. Like, this was so much fun. I feel like I was able, I was like talking to my girlfriends again. I wonder if I make them together. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do these more often. Oh, now I like me, I really gotta do my bangs then. Cause imagine like I have bangs right here. See like, once you get me started, I'm just not gonna shut up, but like, ready? Like imagine, oh, Oh, like imagine I had like little curlies, like a little curl, like right, like <gasps> that could have been so cute. Okay, well noted. Maybe you can check out my vlog, my next vlog, because <laughs> I'll have my hair cut by then. Well, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.